A critical game number five last night in Los Angeles in the Western Conference opening round playoff series between the Clippers and the Mavericks. The Clips return home to L.A., but without Kawhi Leonard for the third time in the set, the second consecutive game. But, Donnie, prior to game number five, L.A. had actually won outright as an underdog both games without Kawhi Leonard against Dallas. Last night, though, was a different story in downtown L.A. The Mavericks did not only just win, but won big and took a commanding 3-2 series lead headed back to Texas in this opening round set. Dallas wins by 30, 123-93 over the Clippers. The Mavericks easily covering as a two and a half point three point road favorite in Los Angeles. Total at 208 and a half. The lowest we had seen in this series does go over because of the offensive output from Dallas's side, scoring again 123 points. You know, it's nice being on the road, Ben, and playing good basketball. That's one thing. Winning by 30 points, that's incredible in a playoff game. Going back to game six in your home building to close it out, that's what you're looking for. But how about this? Luka Doncic, 39 minutes, you know, a little bit of an illness here, worried about his twisted up knee, 35 points, plus 28 on the court. Even take a look at Kyrie Irving, 35 minutes played, and you say, hold on, only 6 of 14 from the floor, terrible from three-point range, one of seven, but a plus 35. But even more yeah. impressive there, Ben, when you have a bench that gives you over 40 points in a road playoff game, that's that fantastic. Hardy, 14 points. You take a look at Lively, 12 points. You take a look at Kleber, 15 points. That's what you need. So when you're, both your superstars aren't clicking, which again, Kyrie Irving only 14 points, that's how you make it up here. And also, flipping it back over to the Clippers' side, this is what we expect sometimes. You can't shoot 60-plus mm-hmm. percent from three-point range every game and expect to win. And it's the same way I handicapped this game. It wasn't really X's and O's. I saw the Clippers play the perfect game and eked out a victory against Dallas. So therefore, you're not going to play two perfect games in a row, and the Clippers certainly didn't do that, got dropped by 30. Right. But you take a look at James Harden, need you to step up. He's done this so many times in his career, early in playoff series. Wow, that's the James Harden we know and love. Last night, 33 minutes, 2 of 12 from the field, minus 25 as his plus minus. That is horrendous here, but I expected the Mavericks to win. I just didn't expect them to win by 30 points last night, Ben. So no Kawhi Leonard. Paul George wasn't great either. Four of 13, just two of six from deep. He was with L.A. alongside of Ita Zubats, the leading scorer for the Clippers. 15 points out of them both, but nobody scored more than 15. Russell Westbrook off the bench, two of 11 from the floor, 0 of 3 from deep. The Clippers as a team, 9 of 35 from three-point range again. In game number four in Dallas on Sunday afternoon, 62% from deep. That's how you fill some of the holes when your superstars are not out there like Kawhi Leonard. But 9 of 35, less than 26% last night at home in Los Angeles. Those holes exposed for L.A. last night at home against the Mavericks. Luka Doncic on the other side, 35 points, Mm -hmm. 10 dimes, dealing with a sore knee and being under the weather. His most efficient game so far in this series against L.A. And, Donnie, we talked about it. The Clippers were up by 31 points in game number four, midway through the second quarter, without Kawhi Leonard. Dallas stormed all the way back to take a lead with just over two minutes left in the fourth quarter before the Clippers held on for that outright victory. But we said last night, If Dallas wanted to make a statement, it would be in the opening half, only up by one after the first quarter, but had a 10-point lead at the break after 31 points in the second quarter. That was big for the Mavericks, who are now in strong control of this series, up three games to two, uncertain the status of Kawhi Leonard for game number six. Dallas returns home tomorrow night with that series-clinching potential, and they're booked as an eight-point favorite it is the largest spread we have seen in favor of the Mavericks for game number six represented in the series correct score it's minus 310 that is virtually the money line price yeah, if we take a look at an Eastern Conference uh, playoff round also that sort of mimics this one, it is the Indiana Pacers and also take a look at the Bucks, where the Bucks are expected to get healthy, but there are two different equations here. You take a look at a team that should have been able to close out the Bucks and weren't able to do that. You take a look at the Dallas Mavericks in their previous game, were able to win easily. Now they can come home on their home court, much like Indiana's going to do, to see if they can close yep. out. Momentum much better on the Dallas Mavericks side. And also, from what we saw in the past out of Kawhi Leonard, right? 
he's one of those guys that marches to his own beat in some instances, which means if the team doctors tell him he's ready to play, he'll say, no, I'm not ready to play. I don't believe the team doctors at this point. So anytime I hear like Kawhi Leonard is going to be questionable or might not appear, I'm going to go to, yeah. he's probably not going to appear in this game. If he didn't play in that last one, okay, now you're saying game six, it's loser, go home. We need you, Kawhi Leonard. But how much energy are you getting out of Kawhi there? I just think the Dallas Mavericks overall are the better team. And even before this yeah. series started, I still thought it was going to be the Mavericks and the Mavericks in six probably made the most sense looks like it's going to be the Mavericks in six listen that eight point line for tomorrow night in game number six is taking into account that Kawhi Leonard will not play if he does probably moves the line by two two and a half points but still Dallas is going to have a great opportunity back at home as a five point favorite or greater to clinch this series we told you yesterday if you believed in the number that had the Mavericks as a slight road favorite in Los Angeles jump on Dallas to win this series in six games I did it was plus 120 prior to game number five it is now minus 310, minus 320 Dallas's price on the money line for game number six individually. And Donnie, this was a conversation we had downstairs with our guys, John James and Joe Frizo, before this got started today on the early line. Is the super team era in the NBA done? Because we're seeing these teams that have gone out over the last off seasons and acquired superstar brand name players. The Crippers have Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, win healthy. James Harden and Russell Westbrook, superstars of the last 10, uh, 10 years in the NBA, but flame out. The Lakers have flamed out. The Suns have flamed out. It seems those homegrown teams, and Dallas is not necessarily that. Luka Doncic is, but they did acquire Kyrie Irving. It seems those homegrown teams in other areas, though, like Oklahoma City, like Minnesota, those are the teams triumphant right now in the playoffs. There's so much money to be made off of the court. I just think these guys like playing with each other and they can form super teams. That's great. They play with their friends. And if they have to give up an extra $5 million on the court, they make it up off the court. Super teams, Ben, always going to be there now.